Hello, my crafty friends. It's me, Lisa, from Lisa Goodwin DIY. And as you can see, I am in my Cricut Design space, and I am going to show you how to make a stencil. So I've got my design space opened up, and I need an image. So I'm going to come over to the uploads, and I've already uploaded some different images. So I think we're going to pick the pumpkin because this will make a cool stencil, but it'll actually be pretty easy to get the paint on. Not a lot of weeding with the stencil material. So I'm going to click that picture and then I'm going to come over to the corner where it says add to canvas and that will import that into my design space. And oh my goodness, that thing is huge. So we need to shrink him down. Holy moly, that's a big pumpkin. Let's get him more of a manageable size. That's much better. And each of these little squares actually correlates to the size that your stencil or whatever you're creating is going to transfer onto the cut sheet, the cut mat that you're going to be using. So this guy is six, almost seven inches wide and six inches long. Now, I kind of like him like just like that. That's kind of cute. I think that'll be really pretty on a block of wood. So I like him just like that. So now I can't cut this out just like it is. So I need to have a background. So then I'm going to come over to the shapes, click on the square because that's what size my pumpkin is. And I just like working with the squares. But now my pumpkin is gone. Oh no, what am I going to do? This is easy. What you're gonna do is we are going to click on arrange and we are going to send this to the back. So now our pumpkin is on the front and we can make him bigger if we want to and get him to fit into this stencil because this is going to be our stencil. All right, so now I'm happy with how that is, but Let's let's make the pumpkin white so we can see it better. So come up to the colors and going from black, we're gonna change the pumpkin to white. I like that better. You can see him much better and that kind of shows you what our stencil will actually be like. All right, next step, we're going to put a box all the way around the entire project, just like that and let go with our cursor. And then if you look down here, there's four different actions that have become able to use. And what I wanna do is we're going to slice this. So when you hit the slice button, just like that, I hit the slice button, and now we're going to pull this apart. So there's part of it. This is our actual extra part. And this is our stencil. So now these little guys, we don't need them for this project, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete them. And now I have a pumpkin stencil. So that was pretty easy. And if I had my machine hooked up, then I would just come up here to make it, and then I could actually make this pumpkin stencil. And this shows you how much space it's going to take up on my cutting mat. And this will also show you what size of a mat. So like if I have a 12 by 12 inch mat, or even a 12 by 24 inch mat, it shows you how much space it's gonna take up. And there you can see the tiny little pumpkin up there and I've got lots of space. But most of the mats I use are 12 by 12, so that's gonna take up a good portion of my mat. And then if I decide that I'm not ready to cut this out because I don't have vinyl or whatever, I can hit the cancel button. It will take me back into the design space studio area for my canvas and I can actually save this and let's give it a name. Let's say pumpkin stencil, hit the save button. And now my project has been saved. So I can actually do this in the future. And if you go to the projects, you can see all of the different, well, these are all of the projects I've made so far, but lots of fun and then you'll have it forever so that is pretty awesome i'm super happy with that and i hope you found this tutorial helpful for making a stencil that you can create something awesome with your cricut machine